hello guys welcome once again in the last video we just created a spring boot application and we just ran our application it was um, running on port 8080 now in this video let's see what we are going to do in this video we are going to expose some restful web services endpoint some of these things we have discussed in the earlier videos but i will explain it once again here suppose we have a social media application now in a social media application there will be many users and we want to retrieve all the users for that we will expose the endpoint let's say it uh, users so this endpoint we will be exposing in our restful application and this method will be get so get is a http method that will be using for retrieving all the users suppose we want to create a new user we will be giving users but this time the method will be post and suppose we want to retrieve one particular user so for that we will be giving slash user slash id uh, you can say it like slash user and id is one so like that you can give this method will be get now if you want to delete a user you have to identify which user you have to delete okay, suppose you have to delete uh, user with the id 1 so you will be giving user slash id if the user id is 1 slash 1 and the method will be delete so you have to give some meaningful name to your endpoints so the third person who is not sure like what is this application about he should understand by seeing the endpoints like okay this is for retrieving the user this is for creating the user so um, as this is a social media application you will be saying like a user can have many posts so there is a one to many relationship between a user and a post so retrieve all posts from a user for that we will be doing users and if we have to retrieve all the posts from that user let's say id of the user is one and we have to retrieve the posts and the method will be get now create a post for user you will be creating post for a one particular user so id and posts and this time the method will be post you have to retrieve details of a post one user can have many posts and out of that he want to see the details of one particular post so the user ID you have identified for which user you want to see the post posts and which post one particular post you want to see so you have to give post ID and this time the method will be get method so these are all the endpoints that we are going to expose in the next video so keep watching guys thanks